Why are you a bodybuilder? Basically, I love the way of life. I love to be up on stage and, and show them how much hard work I've put into my body and dedication. I love it. It's just, it's, it I think it's just instilled in some of us. We, we're born with it, you know, and uh, the harder you work, the better you get. And that's as simple as that. You only get out of life what you put in. What are you eating? Tuna! Good for you. Good for the muscles. <laughs> they, they stare at you, you know. It's... Does that embarrass you? We're out of time. But does that embarrass you to have people feel that way? No, no, I feel good when they do <laughs> A woman one time said to me that there's, there's sex and there's reps and there's biceps and there's triceps and there's love and there's hate. And every body part is an emotion. And that's the way I train. I mean, I'm sort of in the gym. I'm not counting how many times I'm doing something. I'm expressing myself from within. And that's where I come from. It's an emotional experience for me. And I'm very much into feelings. It's more than just uh, sets and reps and numbers. You know, to me, numbers are, are meaningless. And I don't like to... My personal goal, of course, is to be the best I ever, ever can make myself. You know, there's no... They, they, I guess I would like to be Mr. Olympia, I'm sure everybody does. Uh, we shoot for the ultimate title, but at the same time, I've got to be happy with what I'm doing other than just bodybuilding. See, this is a lifestyle. Bodybuilding is, uh, is something that you have to live every day. So I have to keep a balance. I have a, wi a beautiful wife, I have friends, I have family, I have to keep a balance, uh, you know, in life to be happy. Or I can't just bodybuild, bodybuild. Although I'm very dedicated, when I go to work, I go to work.
it's, it's just a matter of learning to know your body and uh, mature in every aspect of, of, of life. Come on! Get out of here. Sort of that, that deep throated roar of the plate that exists when you train. It just is music to your ears. In the old days, we used to always leave space between the plates so the plates would jingle, so the plates would make noise. When you came up from the squat, If you have the genetic to be a bodybuilder, go for it, compete, shoot for the top. If not, train, work out, get bigger. You probably can build a terrific body without a doubt. But to really be the greatest, to come to, to reach the top, I'm talking like, like uh, Beyond Borg in tennis. You have to be physically gifted go to the death. It's death. I mean, that's the idea. Mm -hmm. Muscle breaks off. Where you grow. There's no, no magic about it. No misunderstanding about it. I've heard you say that, but I didn't think you meant it literally. But you do. You do. You have to. Yeah. You know? You have the attitude. You have to find success. You have to expect success. You expect failure, you get failure. I'm very secure, and I think security is the foundation before you can just go out and just go into a competition. You know, you have to have your mind and yeah, mentally be prepared for it. I'm very competitive. Don't ever challenge me in something, because you know it's be like um, I'm like a pit bull. You know, what I mean, you could um, you could knock me out, but you better be, not be standing around when I wake up, because I'm gonna come at you like an animal. It's been an awesome battle.